So let's try this example here. So I've written down some of the equations that we've had so far. So let's try number 28. A wheel on Milan's bicycle is 42 centimeters in diameter. So diameter, 42 centimeters. Milan rides his bicycle for 6,594 centimeters. How many times does the wheel turn as the bicycle travels the, the distance? How many times does the wheel turn? Okay, so we know the diameter. So we know the diameter is 42 centimeters. Now each time the wheel turns, each time the wheel turns, what is that? What does that mean? What distance do we travel when the wheel makes one turn? And that is the circumference. So what is the circumference of the circle? How much distance does the wheel travel after one turn? Well, it's going to be diameter times pi. So about three times this. So let's calculate that. It's diameter times pi will give us the circumference. So it's just 3.14 times the diameter, 42 centimeters. When we multiply that out, we get 131.95 centimeters. So each time the wheel makes one turn, this is how much the bike will travel. That's how much it will move. So if the bike traveled 6,594 centimeters, how many turns did it make? So we just have to divide. So if we know that 131, the bike travels 131.95 centimeters for each turn of the wheel. So we just have to divide. The total number of turns is going to be the total distance divided by the distance for each turn. So the total distance divided by the distance for each turn, that's going to be 6,594 divided by 131.95. And we get approximately 49.97 turns which is about 50. So we'll just round it off to 50. So if the bike turns 50 times, the wheel turns 50 times, 50 times that will give us 6,594 centimeters. Or how many meters would that be? How many meters? It's 65 meters, right? Divided by 165 meters.